Well, howdy folks, thanks for stopping by. Uh, we've got something that we want to share with you guys. I know a lot of people motorcycle camp and people our age motorcycle camp with a trailer and we carry more stuff because we've decided that we like life a little more comfortable than we used to. But we've added this solar panel setup to our trailer so that we can um, stay places where there's not power hookups. If we're on a long trip, it's nice to be able to stay in less expensive campgrounds. I mean, RV campgrounds now cost $35 to $55 a night. Well, you can get a motel cheaper than that. And if you're taking a two-week to three-month trip, $35 to $55 a night is quite pricey. Where you can get a campground that does not have power for around $15 a night, there's even a lot of places where you can stay for free. But you've got to be able to charge your um, intercoms, your cell phones, your cameras, and that kind of thing. And you want to have enough power to do that if you're camping somewhere. And this is just 90 watts I've got laying over here. Um, it is three 30 watt panels that we've wired together. And eventually we're going to replace it with one flexible solar panel that we can attach to the luggage rack on our trailer so that the batteries charge all day long. This will not ride on the luggage rack, so that part of it is not ideal. We have to put it out when we get to wherever we're camping at. But let me show you what we got over here. You can buy these solar generator kits that are outrageously expensive. I mean, several hundred dollars, and they're nothing more than this. I paid $10 for this, um, charge controller here and I don't know if you can read that or not I don't know if the camera's focusing on it but I've got 12.6 volts in the battery and this right here turns these USB ports on so while I'm charging my battery I'm also charging both of our intercoms and it's we're getting enough power out of this 90 watts to do that to charge up the battery and charge up both intercoms at once so you can see that 90 watts will give you plenty of power to charge up all your usb stuff but we've got this which was ten dollars i think a battery box is around ten dollars and we also added um this 12 volt outlet with two usb ports on it and we wired it in to the shunted power on the charge controller so that you can charge something 12 volts and we do have a little TV and a little DVD player that we take sometimes that we have a 12 volt adapter for and we wanted to be able to charge them too and you know we can't do that with a USB but all of the cell phones and the intercoms and the tablets and all that stuff they can all be USB but we wanted some 12 volts and this was only about ten dollars too and we added it in here and um, the charge controller we riveted it into the top of the battery box but this 12 volt outlet that has a couple extra USB ports on it we just uh, put it glued it in with some epoxy and for a battery I got a, a Mighty Might battery it's a motorcycle battery from Walmart I can't remember how many um, amp hours it has, but I will put that in the description so you can look it up. I only paid like 60 bucks for that, and it's a deep cycle gel battery. And we just packed the battery box with foam so that the battery didn't bounce around when we were going down the road. The charge controller, it was nothing special, but I can put a link to it. I got it off of eBay, and I think I ordered that... Um, 12 volt outlet off of eBay too. I'll put a link to it. And the solar panels, like I said, we're going to replace them with a single flexible solar panel. And I got those so long ago, I'm not sure I could even find a link to them anymore. But just a 100 watt flexible solar panel is all you need to go with this system. And for less than $200, you can have enough power to take care of everything you need when you're motorcycle camping or when you're camping pretty much period but I hope you found this informative and like I said I'll put some links in the description 
Don't forget to click like and subscribe before you leave. And we really appreciate you joining us. We'll see you next time.